Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a uh, another kind of transfer video slash uh, sort of 2021 upcoming season video. Uh, obviously the fixtures were released there on Monday, I believe, and uh, we also made a point there a couple of days ago. So uh, we'll get into that soon. Uh, I'm joined as always by Aaron. How are you? Good. Uh, looking forward. Or looking forward to going through the fixtures and Liam Burke signing, which is a good sign. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on to that now. Um, Liam Burke signed there a few days ago. Winger uh, used to play for Celtic and Rangers, you know, controversially. Um, what do you make of that signing? Yeah, it's obviously a really good signing to have in the squad. He's a winger, so he'll bring strength and depth in that sort of area in the pitch. He's a Scottish under-21 international, so he obviously has a lot of experience and he's played with a lot of experienced players, be it at Celtic Rangers and for his national team. So I think it's a really good signing and just hope we get the best out of him. Yeah, I've seen a few videos of him from his time at Celtic. He kind of mainly played in their reserve team and then he, he looked like a promising player, you know, a uh, tricky kind of player. Um, you can, can kind of play anywhere across like the 4-2-3-1 that, you know, Keith Long likes to play. Um, Right winger, you know, calm left winger, um. So he'll definitely bring a lot to the squad, you know. Kind of like, I'd imagine he'll be sort of a Danny Grant's replacement, you know. He'll try pull the strings, uh, going forward, creating, scoring goals, um. So onto the fixtures, uh, they came they came out on Monday. Uh, we're scheduled to play Finn Harps away on the nineteenth of March at eight o'clock. Uh, what to make of that? Yeah, it's obviously. Every game's tough, but we've got one of the lesser teams, as you say. But every time we've gone up to Bally Buffet, it's been tough. Like, we win by the old goal, and we've lost a few times up there in recent years. So, it's a difficult way to start the season, but I feel like we can get off to a really good start seeing our few, first few fixtures. Yeah, um, obviously, going up to Finn Harps, it's, it's never easy. You know, they always try to make it difficult for you. Um, they defend well, and you know, try kind of um, hurt you through uh, set pieces and because you have a lot of tall players. Um, so yeah, it's especially going up to, you know, uh, Donegal, it's a you know, long trip, but you can, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's they're never really an easy team to play against. Um, still, still confident, you know, we have, that will have the quality in the end that can finish them off. Um, some of the other fixtures came out, obviously the most, Kind of most notable one was the uh, sort of, so as you could call it, like a South Dublin derby, Rovers and Pats. That that's a, that's a standout fixture. Sh should be a good game. And um, so, on to uh, kind of the structure of the league. So obviously, as we mentioned, it's, it's due to start on uh, the nineteenth of March, which is a Friday. Um, there's going to be no EA Sports Cup this season, which is kind of disappointing because I felt like that was a trophy we could uh, could have won. You know. So what to make of the fact that the A Sports Cup won't be here again this season? Yeah, it's disappointing because, as we said in previous videos, we need to push on for a trophy this year. But I suppose the FAI are kind of looking at it. The less like contact between players and clubs is necessary. And the EA Sports Cup is to just chalk it off and just have the league and the FAI Cup, which is what they did last year. So, look, it's disappointing, but... You can't really be complaining about it for safety reasons. Yeah, I know it's, it's I found it kind of disappointing when I found out because you know, you know, um, it's a trophy you can definitely win. You know, I, I know it's kind of out the league and the FBI Cup is kind of the least important out with the tree, but it's, it's always nice to get your hands on some silver, especially after a good while that you haven't won any. But um, uh. The, the first division, those fixtures are set to be released uh, on Monday. So uh, it'll be interesting to see those come out. Um, each Premier Division club is set to get uh, €215,000 uh, to uh, kick, them off, kick them off for the, for the season. What do you make of that? Yeah, it's obviously just to give all the clubs more financial backing after not getting the support from... Uh, having people in through the gate so it's good to see that the FAI are giving money uh, to clubs and to keep them going really yeah obviously 
that money could mean a lot to the kind of the lower teams like Longford, Dr- the Finn Harps, because you know they'll need it the most because uh, a lot of their income comes from fans coming into the stadium. Obviously, that can't happen now, but I hope we get some point during the season that can. Um, so the mid-season break will take place between the 28th, 28th May to June 11th or 12th. Um, the FBI Cup will uh, get underway on July 25th. And the final will be on uh, November 28th. So hopefully on November 28th we're involved. Would, would you would you like to obviously you'd like to see us win the FA Cup? But should that be one of our main goals for the season? Yeah, I think it should definitely be one of the main goals because, like last year, it was really disappointing, and obviously the few years before that it was. But the Keat Long knows how to get further in cup competitions now, and. He'll bring even the experience of playing in Europe last year, bring that the squad. Yeah, definitely. The players um, that were there, they bring that experience. Yeah, yeah. Um it's it's a thirty six game season, so it's gonna run from uh the nineteenth of March to the nineteenth of November. Uh that's always good to say because, you know, you want a full season, you know. Obviously last season there was kind of like the first five or six games and the league was cancelled. Then we came back for an 18 game season after that, uh, which was good, but still you'd prefer to see the full season. Um, a big blow coming into this one. It's, a, it's supposedly, it's supposedly uh, what Jella Roy won't be coming back this year. Um, what would you make of that? Yeah, it's disappointing because like last year they did a decent job of getting the streaming going because I felt it wasn't too bad like I was skeptical of it thought it wouldn't be great considering the lack of funding that uh, the likes of RT and Air put in they don't really televise much games but yeah it's disappointing but they're gonna have to come up with something because you can't really play the games behind closed doors and not film them for the fans to be able to watch live yeah hopefully I'd like to think that most clubs would kind of have the facilities to 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 stream them themselves, or they might bring in an English kind of streaming service because I know a lot of uh, first division clubs streamed their games because they weren't on Watch LOI. Obviously, all the Premier Division games were on Watch LOI, but you know a lot of first division clubs didn't get theirs on um, Watch LOI. Other than some of the I think it was the playoff final was kind of the only game that involved some first division clubs. But um, yeah, I hope something can be brought in because you know it wouldn't be great if we couldn't watch any games but you know we, we, we highly doubt that they'll just not create and you know it'd be you know it'd be really really disappointing if we couldn't but I, I'm pretty confident that something will come in um, I don't think there's anything really else to talk about for the for the upcoming season but uh, looking forward to it yeah definitely like now that the fixtures have come in like you can kind of look ahead to pinpoint the games that are going to be most important which is always good and the fact that they've projected a 36 game season which is good to see because we were kind of skeptical of what, what they do if the cases get even worse or anything but just hope that the cases come down and the vaccine comes and we can even get to one game not this year the last home game, it looks like a pretty tasty one. I wouldn't mind going to that, the home game against Rovers, the last home game. So if we could get to that game, what is it, like the end of November, or the middle of November would be good. Hopefully we'll be able to go back by at least then, I'd say. Yeah, because we think to myself, imagine if we were the, if Bowles and Rovers were kind of the top two again, and that's kind of like a title to sort of type game, it'd be, some, be brilliant, wouldn't it? But uh, we Hopefully, you know, it, it, you know, at some point this season we can all be back, you know, even if it's with boy, like, you know, maybe only a few hundred thousand, even, you know, good to be back in some way, you know. Um, so we'll talk a bit more about the new signing, Liam Bor Winger. Um, obviously, you already talked. Actually, what you make of it, but what do you think he can bring to the team, you know, because he need he has a void to fill now that Danny Grant is gone, so. What what qualities do you think he can bring to the side? Yeah, he'll definitely bring experience, I think, and just different ideas because he's come from a different league, which is probably more professional than the League of Ireland. So his qualities will come through and hopefully uh, Keith Long will get the best out of him and he'll get the best out of the 
uh, attacking players as well around him that he's going to play with. Yeah, definitely. He looks like he looks an exciting player. Only, I think he's only around twenty-two, so good age. Um, he's obviously he played for Celtic and Rangers controversially, and he also played for I think it was Alloa and some other club. I forget, it might have been someone like Dumbarton or something. But um, but so he has kind of spent most of the time over in Scotland. But um, interestingly, uh, I think it was during the summer when he left Celtic, he got offers from team in League One, which I believe was Sunderland, I'm not quite sure, and uh, Barnsley in the Championship as well. So, you know, that's a decent level, you know, and he's come at the balls, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, he can show his qualities and really kick us on. And um, so I'll ask you about the squad so far, like it's, it's you know, compared to what we, what it looked like about a month ago, it's, it's looking pretty decent. So you're confident that the squad we have now can push us on to big teams this season. Yeah, I'm definitely like confident in this squad because like even before Christmas I think we did a video and we were kinda of looking at it like, oh we need to get a few players through the door here but like looking now we've got a really good squad and it's probably it's probably not as good as last year yet because we don't really know some of the players will they gel together but a few first three or four games we'll see where this squad is but it has the potential to do something really good this season. Yeah, I think you know. Obviously, I think since we we last done a video, Randy Lyons is actually resigned for next season as well, which is a huge bill. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the squad looking quite strong. Obviously, we've got two keepers in McGuinness and Talbot. They were very two very good keepers who will, you know, give us some options there. Um. Then the defense looks. Pretty solid again, Andy Lyons. Um, he brought in Rory Feely from Pat, uh, Rob Cornwall, Tyree Wilson, Kieran Kelly, James Sinner, the Anto Breslin, you know, solid defence. And going into, looking into the midfield, you know, we have a few options there. Obviously, players like Keith Buckley, Bastian Harry, Ross Tierney, Jack Moylan, Ali Koo, uh, Keith Ward, Dawson Lavoie, you know, the list goes on, you know. Out in the wing, you know, we have players like Stephen Mallon, uh, Dawson, the, Dawson, what am I on about? Uh, uh, Liam Burr, um, uh, Tom Somersher, you know, options, you know, I think Lewis can play there as well, as well as up front. And we've obviously got George Kelly as well, you know, I, th- I think we may need another striker just to, you know, maybe some, someone, you know, can come in and score a few goals for us. And then, you know, other than I think if we can get someone like that in the door, they're pretty sound going into the new season. Um, so I'll ask you now, and I was quite early, we'll probably do our, closer enough to the season, we'll probably do our table predictions, but realistically, where do you think we can finish in 2021? I think look, looking at our squad and looking at some of the improvements and players that other clubs have lost, I think we definitely should be pushing for it. Europe again, like top three at least. I think that's the bare minimum we should really expect now with uh, Keith Long's squad, squad that he's bringing in. But that's what I think. And maybe a cup, maybe a cup. Yeah, obviously, if we can get if we can get into Europe again, you know, top three and a cup, you know, I think that's that's a successful season. You know, we need a bit of silverware. We haven't won anything in a long time. So, you know, it'd be, it'd be great to get a bit of silverware. Um, anyway, I think that's where we'll end the video. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments on Liam Brewer signing and uh, the structure for the new 2021 season. Are you looking forward to it? Are you confident that balls can do well? Let us know. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.